We women are cyclical beings who ebb and flow with the rhythms of the moon and the natural cycles of Mother Earth. We experience different seasons as we move about life. And we also embody different archetypes depending on our bleeding face. When we start to recognize these innate changes that happen within us, we begin to tap into a well of infinite power that we might have never even knew we had. Hi ladies, welcome to today's video. I am really excited to talk about our moon cycle, our period, our menstrual flow, all of those beautiful words that I feel are slowly but surely starting to become more of a normal topic in conversation amongst women and also men, which I think it's really exciting. My intention for today is just to bring more awareness to the rituals that I like to perform in hopes that I can give you ideas and inspiration of ways that you can nurture and care for yourself during your moon cycle. So before we get started, ladies, I would really love if you guys subscribe to Sweet Soul, share it with a friend. I am so thrilled to see the community growing on here. Here. So if you have anybody in your life that you feel is really going to resonate with this type of content, please make sure that you send it on over to them and that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you guys are notified of every single time that I upload a new video. So I've had to learn along the way how to love my period. I know a lot of you guys can relate to hating being on your period or feeling like it's something that is just a distraction or a major inconvenience in your life. Or you probably feel a lot of shame around it like myself because when I started my period when I was 12 years old, I didn't know how to put on a tampon or how many, how often you need to change your pad or even muster up the courage during school to ask the teacher, can I go to the bathroom? I was just really ashamed about my period. So I had a lot of incidents that I would just be sitting in class like full on bleeding and wetting all of my pants, like my entire, you know, my jeans were completely soaked in blood and then I would leave the chair soaked in blood and just imagine having to go through an eight hour day in school just bleeding and not going to the bathroom and changing your pad. That's just something that I experienced because I didn't have the self-confidence within myself also to ask the teacher, hey, can I go to the bathroom because I need to change my pad or whatever. Um, I was just really ashamed. So for a long time, I just hated my period until I grew older. And it wasn't until like my late 20s that I started to dive deeper into the spiritual meaning and the spiritual aspect of our menstrual cycle and how we connect so much with Mother Earth and nature and the moon cycles. I feel like the moon for women is something that is very enchanting and it's something that's very magnetic and we're very drawn to the moon because the moon goes through cycles the same way that we go through cycles every single month. So I feel like it's important to note that throughout the month we have about four dominant energies and phases that we experience, right? And by honoring these phases that we go through, we tend to move in life with a lot more ease and a lot more flow and we're just more calm and centered and we feel so much more powerful. When we start to uh, ignore the needs and desires that our soul needs, that our body needs, and when we feel like, you know what, like even though my body really wants to rest today or I don't want to socialize today, I feel like I need to be in that alpha mentality, like that masculine energy and I need to wake up and do high intensity training every single day and just go beast mode because I have so many dreams and goals that I want to accomplish. When you wake up every single day feeling like that's the energy that you need to be on every single day, our bodies don't work like that. And so when we dishonor those feelings, we're gonna experience a lot of stress, anxiety, depression, really negative vibrations and negative low energies because we are not honoring or listening and tuning in to what we really need, not only as a physical being, our body, our emotional being, our spiritual being is also something that we really need to focus and tune into a lot more. So that is the reason why I wanted to create this video is to give you some ideas on how you can self care for yourself during that moon cycle, that time of the month when you are maybe not feeling your absolute best 
I wanna give you some ideas that you can start to implement into your routine that hopefully will make you feel a lot more at ease, a lot more calm, a lot more centered, and a lot more powerful as the woman you are. So now let's talk a little bit about what this phase is all about. This is the winter phase. So we go through seasons, we go through spring, summer, fall, and winter. Right now we are going through our winter phase, also known as the wise woman phase, as the crone phase. Why is it the wise woman? Well, one of the reasons is because Spiritually speaking, this is a time when the veils between the two worlds is a little bit thinner and you're able to really tap into your intuitive energies because there's so much going on through you energetically deep inside of you. There's a shedding, right? Metaphorically speaking, there's a shedding that is happening not only to your body physically, but also to your spirit. You're letting go of everything that you worked on for the past month, all of the hardships that you went through. And this is when you start to focus and pay attention to what are the lessons that I learned? How can I move about my life in a more centered and aligned way? We might start to experience more synchronicity or epiphanies or just really beautiful moments that you're like, wow, like it really blows your mind. And it's something that you can't really explain through science, even though a lot of this is backed by science nowadays, which is really incredible, you know? Um, so most notably, it is definitely a time to slow down. Uh, you might not feel like socializing, which is why it's really important to schedule your life around your menstrual cycle. This is one of the things that has given me the most power because I used to just kind of schedule my, my life around a lot of other people and what they needed and I never really paid attention to what I needed deep down inside. So I used to schedule you know, public events or even meetings or phone calls, disregarding completely what I was going to experience during my winter phase of my moon cycle. And so I would show up not my best self and I would show up resenting people even because I didn't want to be there and I had agreed to be there. So it's always best to schedule those important phone calls where your energy is just going to be extroverted and you're going to show up excited to be there. There's times in the month where I love having phone calls. There's times of the month right now during my menstrual cycle where I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't respond to emails. I don't go on social media. I just kind of like hide away from the world. And even my good friends, when they text me, they're like, hey, do you want to hang out? I let my friend, my, one of my really good friends know, and she knows about my moon cycle and everything. And I'm really honest with her. I'm like, you know what? Right now, I am not in that extroverted phase, but how about next week? Next week, I'm going to be in my spring energy and I'm just going to be feeling really great. So definitely let's go out next week. Um, so that's something that's been really helpful. It's just organizing and scheduling my life based around how I feel internally. Again, it's just really important to vocalize your specific needs with your close friends, family, and your colleagues. Premenstrual flares of hormonal breakouts is something very common among women before we begin our cycle. So these hormonal fluctuations can lead to premenstrual acne as our pores become clogged with excess oil, dirt, and dead skin cells. I like to do a little bit of skincare during this time to help speed up the healing process of any breakouts. I find that now that I am a woman in her 30s, um, I definitely experience hormonal breakouts. So I have been loving this mask by Youth to the People. It's a purifying and detoxifying mask. Pro-grade vegan, it's really great. And it's one that's just really helped clean out the pores from again, all of that excess oil, the dirt and the dead skin cells. And it just rejuvenates my skin and also helps speed up the healing process. So during this time, your body is most likely going to crave a more gentle and soft approach to fitness. So while you might love lifting weights or running or kickboxing or just getting super aggressive, I love getting aggressive a lot. 
with my workouts. So I feel like it's really important during this time to find some practices that are really going to benefit you, but have a more gentle approach. So I would recommend yoga is a really great one. You can even just do stretching exercises just to kind of loosen up your body. And you can also do walking. Walking is one of my all time favorite activities to do on my days off from when I'm working out really intensely or even on my moon cycle. I love to just walk in nature every single day that I'm on my moon cycle because not only does it relax me physically, you know, it feels really good to just walk and soothe yourself like that. It's really great for your overall health and your heart, uh, but also for your mind, you know, since like I mentioned right now, when you're bleeding is the perfect time to tap into your intuition even more. You can reach deeper levels of meditation during this time and experience more aha moments, more revelations, more ideas, like downloads, divine downloads just start pouring into you. So if you go on walks, it's the perfect opportunity for you to disconnect from all of the daily activities that you have going on. Also, if you're a mom, you know, you want a little break, going on a 30 minute walk is, or 15 minute walk is just gonna do wonders for you. And you can really clear your mind. You can also uh, think a lot more deeply about the things that you want for your life. And you're getting a great workout and it's a lot more gentle. So during this time, our hormone levels are at an all time low as they work on shedding the uterine lining, which will most likely have us feeling very low in energy. What we can do is introduce foods that will support us in providing natural energy. This is the best time to avoid anything processed, caffeinated drinks, sugar, and salt, which is honestly just gonna make us more bloated, more tired, and it's just gonna make us feel really bad. So instead, we can treat our body to nutrient-dense foods such as root vegetables, whole grains, lentils, tons of greens, lots of water, smoothies, and even fermented foods that are easy to digest. So I've been pretty obsessed with the glowing green smoothie that I discovered from Kimberly Snyder because it's packed with all of the greens that I need in a day to support myself energetically and not to mention all of the health benefits from eating the celery, the spinach, the lettuce, and the fruits all in one drink. I love that it keeps me hydrated and it also curbs all of the cravings because it actually keeps me very full and it also has been leading me to weight loss due to the fact that my body is pretty satisfied because I already have all of the nutrients that I need. So I drink this smoothie every single day, my husband as well. And as a bonus, it's going to help you detox, which is going to help reduce any bloating. And I just can't recommend it enough. Anyways, and that's it for today's video. I poured so much of myself into this. And I was actually just thinking the other day when I was working on this video, because it's been in, you know, in a... The progress of work making this video has been several several weeks and I was just thinking about how passionate I am again to finally create content about things that I'm just really excited about and passionate about which is something that I had lost with my YouTube channel not this one but my old YouTube channel I was completely out of passion and I just came to the awareness the other day that I was just so excited to start creating content that really just comes from me and it's an expression of who I am as a person and again my intention with today's video is just to bring more awareness to our menstrual cycles and so we can learn to love our menstrual cycle and um, appreciate it for the beautiful gift that it is. So my next video is going to be about the story about my period because I get a lot of comments on Instagram, all over my social media, women reaching out to me and telling me that they absolutely hate their period and they feel like it's such a huge inconvenience in their lives. So I wanna know from you guys how you feel about your period. Do you have a positive experience or do you have a negative experience? And if so, I would really love if you guys shared it down below because that's gonna help a lot of us understand why women think the way they think in accordance to their menstrual cycle, right? Why do we feel like this? Why has this history and this knowledge and this reverence for our menstrual cycle have 
just been put in the back burner. I feel like once we really learn to tap into it, it's just gonna change the world. So leave me a comment down below. Also, please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you guys enjoyed it. If you hit a thumbs up, you let me know in the comments section then I know that this is um, going in the right direction with the content here for Sweet Soul. So please let me know, ladies. I can't wait to talk to you again on another video. Have a blessed and beautiful day and I'll see you soon.